So I gave in my email ID and that's how in May, in March 2021, I got an update from Intuit saying that they are actively hiring for software engineer roles. Yeah, that uh, my suggestion would be to maintain speed, keep, uh, you know, keep your fundamentals strong and you'll be good to go. Hello everyone, welcome to my channel. So today I have invited Shreya. So hello Shreya, thank you, thank you for accepting my invitation. So in this video, we will talk everything about Intuit. So Shreya, could you please give me a quick introduction so that our viewer will get to know about you? Yeah, definitely. And first of all, thank you so much for inviting me to your channel. It's been an honor and I've been following you for quite some time. So coming back to my introduction, my name is Shreya Prasad and I'm currently working as a software engineer at Intuit. I graduated last year from IGDTUW with my BTEC in CSE. And I'm uh, apart from uh, our software engineer roles, uh, I'm involved in many community activities, open source, and I actively solve DSA questions. So yeah, that's pretty much about me. Uh, that's great. So I personally following you at your LinkedIn and also at your GitHub. You have a really great GitHub profile. Actually, I copied your GitHub readme template. Yeah, so you can follow Shreya on GitHub as well as in LinkedIn. Especially, I will recommend you to follow her on GitHub because she is having a really great readme. So you can uh, like you can uh, try to make your readme like her. So I will put the link of both uh, her GitHub link and also LinkedIn link in the description. So please check out the description so the first question the very first question i want to ask like as you have cleared in, uh, like intuit and intuit is a really great company so could you please share that how you got opportunity from intuit and what was your interview experience at intuit yes definitely so uh this was uh, this is about the time when i was in my fourth year so at that time i was, I was actively searching for off-campus opportunities I was applying to various companies on their career sites. So I came across Intuit's career site as well. And there was a section that uh, that consisted of, you know, a newsletter sort of a thing where, you know, you can sign up for their uh, updates. So I gave in my email ID and that's how in, in March 2021, I got an update from Intuit saying that they are actively hiring for software engineer roles. And they, they, they were inviting me to apply for that role. And in that application, it consisted of, you know, uh, sharing your resume, your college details, uh, and, your, and your contact details. So I shared all those details. And in April 2021, uh, last week of April, I got another email from the recruiter saying that my resume has, short, has been shortlisted for the online assessment. So I got the test link. It was a hacker and test link, and it consisted of a 90 minutes test. There were four questions in that, uh, and the topics or uh, those questions were based on were DP, graph, uh, arrays, and 2D matrix. So it, the, the level of the questions were really good. So it took me some time, and uh, honestly, a lot of efforts were gone into clearing that test. So yeah. After clear, so after two, two days of uh, giving the test, I received another email from the recruiter that I have uh, that I've passed the test stage and now uh, I've been shortlisted for the interview. So the so the whole interview process was virtual and it was conducted on Zoom. And the first interview was only for 30 minutes, where there was only one uh, like one interviewer. And the one thing that's really interesting about Intuit's interviews is that they are not focused only on one particular aspect of your profile. Like uh, they are not going to be very DSA oriented or, you know, very dev oriented. They focus on your overall profile, your overall, you know, development. Uh, so by development, I mean your uh, the candidate's development. So I was asked questions on, uh, I was asked a DSA question I was asked follow-ups on that question. Uh, so it was, I think, around string matching algorithms, uh, as far as I remember. So, and also at the in, uh, beginning of the interview, I was, the interviewer also uh, had opened up my uh, solutions for the online test that I had given. And then that uh, he uh, discussed those solutions with me. 
that uh, the that 30 minutes uh, interview consisted of discussion of the online uh, assessment test that had uh, the solutions that i had given uh, one dsa question then there were uh, hr questions uh, and some uh, questions some very high level questions uh, around my project so with that uh, like the 30 minutes uh, interview was over and then again after two days i got a feedback from the recruiter that uh, my candidature has been processed for the second uh, for the second interview so in the second interview there were now the second interview was a bit different so it it was of 60 minutes and there were two interviewers in the panel and the level of the interview was also a bit different so it was obviously a bit tougher than the first one so i was asked one lead code hard question i was asked in depth questions around my project uh, around my develop around the tech stack that i had worked on in my internships uh, then i was also asked questions on oops design uh, then oops concepts like abstract or uh, like you know abstract classes like uh, polymorphism and things like that a virtual uh, pointers and all these things so uh, uh, then in the end like i was asked to design uh, i think it was a design question i was asked in the end because i had we had some time in the end so yeah i mean a lot of questions were asked and the key is to remain uh, is to you know answer all these question with questions with speed because you know you are being assessed on a lot of parameters and you only have a very limited time you know for both of for both the interviewer and for you so yeah that uh, my suggestion would be to maintain speed keep uh, you know keep your fundamentals strong and you'll be good to go yes so i think you have given a really great insight and you explained each and every everything in very proper manner so that's great and the uh, second question i want to ask like uh, i can see that intuit is a very great company i generally see that the employee of intuit got lots of gifts kind of thing so could you please share what is the work culture of intuit so the work culture is pretty much very good i would say i mean what uh, you know the public knows about into it is pretty much what's inside the uh, like inside the company as well so for speaking from my experience uh, i had literally no trouble in transitioning you know as a student to uh, to into the corporate world uh, through into it so i was easily able to you know uh, understand the tech stack you know how things are working here and people here are very friendly like we always have you know some sort of events games going on so that in a remote culture people feel you know that they are in, they are connected to each other and they don't feel like they are working in silos so apart from uh, you know company wide games events uh, there is also uh, internal hackathons going on then uh, we have like communities various communities within the within intuit like uh, aws community front end community back end community or uh, design community and so on so you can be a part of any one of them so i am part of the open source uh, community so i'm essentially leading the open source uh, team for the idc region so yeah so where there are uh, responsibilities include increasing awareness about the oss culture within the company and making sure that you know during hackathon fest people are you know they are getting excited to work on open source projects because uh, yeah also one more thing that i forgot to mention is that one thing that i really found interesting within into it and is something that i have not seen in other companies yet is the open source culture so open source is really really a very integral part of into it mainly because we are you know going towards a capability um, um, driven model so which means that you are not going to be working in uh, you know alone on a project you have, you can work on any project right one day you're working in team a next day you can work in team b so to gain an overall understanding of the infrastructure and you know the business from a business point of view so to build all these muscles that's where oss comes comes into the picture that's how employees can you know uh, build uh, like build their uh, coding skills not just coding skills uh, i would say the capability to 
uh, ship up pro uh, the product from the day it has, you know, being conceived to the day it has to be uh, pushed into production. Then, you know, collaborating with so many different developers all around the world. So these are some of the things that you cannot easily find when you are working just in a team. So that's where Oasis comes into the picture. So yeah, I mean, there are a lot of things. We have a hybrid uh, like model right now. So, so employees can, you know, come for two days to their office and three for the three days, like they can uh, like work from home. So this is the current model. So, I mean, I can go on and on about this, but I'm going to stop right here because there are a lot of things I can talk about, but yeah, in the interest of time, I'm going to stop. Yeah, so like uh, as you have explained that this kind of work culture is very good for someone which just joining any company and especially for freshers. So yeah, yeah. Uh, with this note, I want to end this video and I, I think I have covered all those points. So once again, I want to say thank you, Sriya, for accepting my invitation. And if you, are, if you haven't subscribed our channel, then please subscribe this channel and please like this video. So that's all about this video. Thank you so much. Bye-bye. Bye. -bye. Bye. Thank you.